Okay, so hot off the heels of my last video, I've done a bit more in-depth research into the timecode functionality on the Rode Wireless Pro, and I've realized that I posted that first impressions video somewhat hastily. The truth is I was in a bit of a rush to release that video alongside prepping for a shoot with a client the next day, plus finishing off a whole bunch of other editing work and admin. But the good news is some of the things I'd suggested in that video are actually already possible, haven't been confirmed by Rode themselves, and also pointed out by a number of people in the comments. So thank you to those of you who stopped by to mention the workaround of jam syncing other brands of timecode generators with the Rode receiver, and then using those other generators as additional timecode devices. It looks like we're already starting to build a bit of a community in the comments section, which, which is awesome. Also, I've got to give a nod of appreciation to the work the team over at Rode are putting into this launch. Their communication has been rock solid with regular video updates and guides, and I'm genuinely very impressed to see a company this well known being so responsive to their customers' comments, queries, and concerns. This video is in no way sponsored by them. I'm just, you know, credit, credit where credit is due. I am normally very technically minded, but I'm juggling quite a lot of work at the moment and I've also been trying to follow some advice that I was recently given by Tom Noski, which is to stop putting so much pressure on myself to go over and above with every single piece of content. And in fairness, he's not wrong. I'd rather get content out the gate for you guys to hopefully learn something at the sacrifice of potentially some minor errors or points that I might later need to correct. And honestly, that's probably only a good thing because it gives me a good excuse to create some more videos. So with that said, you may have seen in my last video about the Rode Wireless Pro that I mentioned I use the Deity TC1 as my timecode system when I shoot bigger multicam projects for my clients. If you haven't seen the Wireless Pro video, then I'll link it up here somewhere um, and also in the comments in case you wanted to check that out. But in that video, one of the pain points I raised was the fact that this system, straight out of the box, doesn't work too well with multicam productions. And while that's still technically true, there is a workaround that I didn't think of when filming that initial video. I hadn't even considered the fact that this kit could maybe integrate with my Deity TC1 kit. But after doing a little bit of digging through the manual, this section here is the golden ticket. Let me show you why this changes things quite a bit for me moving forwards through a practical demonstration. This is the Deity TC1, not to be confused with the TC1 timecode setting on the road. Now these devices are separate timecode generators and they have a TXCO crystal inside with an accuracy of 0.5 ppm, which is essentially what you need to make sure the timecode stays frame accurate. You can think of it like a quartz crystal in a, in, a, in a wristwatch, which ensures everything stays ticking smoothly. And the great news is that Ryan from Rode released a video six days ago, probably seven by the time I post this, which I unfortunately missed before putting together my first video. But he confirmed that the wireless pro receiver has the same type of crystal and accuracy of 0.5 ppm, meaning that theoretically, there should be practically no drift whatsoever between these two systems. Now, when I made that original video, I assumed that the TC1 wouldn't be able to be jam synced with a different system. I expected that it would only work with its own system, but I was wrong, kind of. Now at this point, connect the 3.5 mil jack from the Rode receiver into the Deity TC1. Go into the TC settings menu and select EXT to select jam, Yeah, that's not working. It turns out that if you have this Deity system, or also if you use the Tentacle Sync E, then you should, in theory, be able to connect the road to these units, go through the menus and jam sync the TC1 master, or Tentacle Sync E, and then the Deity master would have the same frame accurate time code being sent to the other TC1 devices as the road receiver is transmitting to the ACAM and the wireless pro transmitters. Theoretically, this would mean that with three of these TC1s, you could have timecode recorded to four cameras, the two Rode microphones, uh, or three cameras, two Rode mics, and an audio recorder, like a Mix Pre 3, with theoretically no drift, or certainly less drift than if you were just jam syncing a camera, if you had a camera that supports that. This is where I started to face some issues, however. 
See, while some people here on YouTube in my comments section have been able to get this to work with the Tentacle Sync E, it seems, at least for me, that the TC1 just doesn't detect an incoming signal from the Rode Wireless Pro. And my only theory for this right now is that the Wireless Pro perhaps isn't outputting at line level, it's just not loud enough of a volume for the TC1 to detect it. But that's a bit of a stab in the dark. I mean, there could be various other reasons why this just doesn't seem to work. It's a shame, I really, I've got everything set up. I was halfway through the video and something I thought was gonna go to plan didn't go to plan. I only actually discovered halfway through filming this, uh, hence the set change that it just doesn't flip and work. So I don't know if this is something that can be fixed with a firmware update. The Pro is advertised as having an amplifier for high impedance headphones, but the headphone gain mode can't be selected while the unit is outputting a timecode signal. So that's the only fix I can think of at the moment, but for now, it looks like TC1 users will either have to wait for some kind of a firmware update or a response from Rode explaining how to use these two specific systems together. But yeah, that's it from me for now. I'm a bit frustrated it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, this wasn't the way the video was supposed to go, but that's life. Uh, Hopefully this video at least helps to improve upon some of the points I voiced in my first impressions video related to timecode. And if you're watching this and you use the TC1 and you've had a different outcome, then please do let me know because short of throwing an amplifier into the chain, I can't figure out how to get this up and running. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.